Als absoluter TAD-Fan kann ich natürlich nicht aus dieser Messe verschwinden, ohne ein TAD-Video zu machen. Und dementsprechend bin ich jetzt hier in dem Showroom von TAD zusammen mit dem CEO Taritani San ja. und äh, dem Europavertrieb von TAD Herrn Hageblum. Und äh, ja, ich habe ein paar ähm, sehr simple, aber für mich sehr wichtige Fragen vorbereitet und die werde ich jetzt den beiden Herrschaften stellen. First of all, thank you for the interview. I want to compliment you for this beautiful showroom. Really. It, it's really nice. I like uh, the lightning. Uh, I like the, the acoustics um, from Proton uh -huh. with the, the wooden look. It's really, really beautiful. I've seen in other showrooms, uh, they are also or good as well, but yours is really different. Mm. And um, it's, it's pretty warm, it's really, really cool. Yeah, I have some simple, mm -hmm. but to me, important uh -huh. questions. So one question is mm -hmm. to you, Taritani-san. Yes. Um, what does the high end mean to you? The high end, for me, the high end uh, provide the happiness for music lovers. That is my idea. And uh, at the same time, the high-end audio uh, give us a chance to create the, create the endless uh, engineering uh, technology. To you, Mr. Hagerblum, what does the high-end mean to you? High-end is not defined in any way. It's actually up to each person and individual to define it for themselves. But everything is about to go for a journey trying to find the products which creates music that the person loves. That is high end. It's not about the price, it's about something you have a feeling for. So you talk about products. What is the what is the highlight product for this year's high end? Okay, uh, this year's oh you can see this is a uh, TAD. Uh, E2 yep. is a loudspeaker, a new model. So, okay, two years we didn't have the high end show in uh, two years. So that's why we, this time is that we want to introduce uh, this new uh, E2. But last year, two years ago, this time also we yep. made. Yep. And uh, you can see the CR1 behind. So yeah. that's one also. Uh, Are you going to play the CR1? Yes, uh, I want to uh, show this beautiful product to the people yeah. on Sunday. On Sunday, yeah. okay, really cool. So oh. we, you play the E2 for the three days, first three days, yeah. and the last day the CR1. Yeah. I did not see the CE1. Okay, CE1, uh, we finished the product, uh, we will be finished the product, and uh, we are now developing the successor models now, and uh, Hopefully, I want to introduce a new model uh, this coming autumn or winter time. Mm. Now we are designing. One question to, to you, Mr. Hagerblum. The D1000TX, it's a new product right now, but um, what, how, how would you describe the difference to the, to the older model? Yes, that's an interesting distinction because it's an evolution. It is not a new product. It's refined. TED has a very long history, which has been evolved since, well, 1975 as a subsidiary to Pioneer. So the engineers evolves the products during time. So the D1000 Mark II was uh, a very, very good SA CD player. And the, call it evolution model, D1000TX, they focus to develop the clock frequency generator. So it means that they take down the jitter levels further down and the noise floor is very low. So it's a very, very silent product, if I may use that word. People might figure out what is that, but I can't really describe it. Mm -hmm. So the main difference when you say it, it's an evolution of the Mark II version. So they updated the uh, circuit boards, they updated the power supply and using non-magnetic screws inside the units. I had the pleasure to, to test this product, the D1000TX, mm -hmm. in combination with the E2. Mm -hmm. 
uh, in my own living room. <laughs> so now I'm curious, maybe um, in the next month, I, I, have a, I have my own showroom now. And I'm looking forward maybe to test these products again mm -hmm. in a maybe better situation because my living room is not so good in terms of acoustic and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Dimi, it was a pleasure to meet you there. And of course, you will test it in your showroom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so one uh, or two last questions. Two days went by. Yep. What feedback did you get from the visitors? That question is quite interesting because usually everybody would say it's super. What I would say is a pleasure for us to be here to show the products from TAD. And it's up to each person to judge what they see and what they listen. But I'm and the TAD team is just happy to be here and present the products. One last question. When you get feedback, two days are left. So two days went by, two days are left. Tomorrow and the, uh, the day after tomorrow will come the, the other visitors, not only press. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get feedback, what are you going to do with this feedback after the high end? You mean uh, when we have the high end, we listen to the people that comes and see what they would like to listen to or what kind of questions they have and we answer them as good as we can. So that is why the CR1s is going to be played up on tomorrow. TED always evolve and in that sense they listen to the customers. So customers are always welcome to contact us through our website and through the people that work with us. Yeah. So the customers are actually the most important. So I would say, do we take in, into consideration the customers? Yes. There is one thing, we do not change the products due to what customer says they want. TED has a very long engineering history. It means they produce quality and they work with tradition. The sound philosophy of TED is the same since 75. It's a tradition they will continue. Natural sound. And you see it in every product. Yes. From, from uh, the, the, the smallest product, I would say. Yes, you have the same sound footprint. Yeah. And much of the core technology is based upon to create products which have as little vibrations as possible stable power supplies and natural sound and that is why TED has always had an interest and also studios are utilizing TED speakers mm -hmm. they usually utilize monitors made for studios but they use TED speakers what I've noticed in a positive way is also that um, Many manufacturers, um, and that's what the high end stands for, of course, um, show the most expensive product. It's okay, that's what the high end stands for. I, I think it's good. I don't want to be negative. But I've noticed that you didn't go this way. Correct. We utilize the reference electronics, which might seem a little bit strange when you actually then show an E2 speaker. Yeah which is the, so to say, lowest, if I may put it that way, product in the TED range. But by doing that, we are showing the capabilities of the speakers to show that TED is true to sound and it doesn't matter which TED product you utilize or buy, you should always feel that you have a natural TED product. That's what I think also. I really liked uh, the showroom and the presentation here. The sound is really good. And I thank you very much for this interview. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jungs, sind die beiden Herrschaften weg? Ja, ja. Ja. Den Europavertrieb von TAD und den CEO aus Japan von TAD auf einem Schlag zu bekommen, das schafft man nur auf der High End. Mega. Ich hoffe, das Video hat euch auch gefallen. Bitte Daumen hoch, kommentieren. Und wenn ihr neu seid auf meinem Kanal, dann bitte abonnieren und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Ciao.